Whenever we do a car or a controlled articular rotation of any joint that we're practicing with, there's two principles that we need to carry suit with as we are doing the movement. One is maintaining a stable base. I like to use the 20% stable base as our metric and to keep in our head as we're doing so. So act as if your feet are a base of a tree and you're maintaining a strong stable base with about 20%. 100% would be clenching down, trying to be as stable as possible. 20% is just keeping that feet in the ground, stable as you can for about 20% of the way. Second principle is whenever we're moving the joint in space, we want to act as if we're moving through 30% denser than air. So for the shoulder example, if I had negative density in the air, I would just whip around, whip around. 30% density is just a little bit thicker than air where it feels like I'm going against a little bit of resistance. So let's keep these two principles in mind and apply it to any joint as we move through. Here we're going to address the feet. The feet are extremely important, especially now day and age, because a lot of times we're walking around with what we call casts or sarcophaguses of our feet, which is called shoes. Shoes keep our feet in a very constricted range of motion and the foot actually has more joints in it than any other region of the body. So cars are an uh, ability for us to move our big toe and four other toes in their large range of motion that they have the capability of doing so on a daily habit. So we'll go ahead and get into those. Whenever we address the foot car, we want to make sure that three points of our foot stay down on the ground the entire time. And that is the calcaneal point, this lateral point of the foot and the base of the big toe. So these parts of the entire foot we want to make sure stay on the ground. When we get to the foot car, all we're going to do is we're going to make sure all four toes stay down on the ground and we're just going to raise the big toe. Good. We're going to drop the big toe down now and now we're going to keep the big toe down and raise the four other toes. Great. Notice all three contact points are still on the ground and back down. Next, we're going to raise all four toes up, five toes up. Slowly, we're going to drop the big toe down. Great. Raise the big toe back up. And now we're slowly going to drop the four toes down. Awesome. And relax. 